Good morning, good morning, good morning, children of the Most High God. May the Lord bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. You are welcome to our begin daily with Christ. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, mighty and everlasting God, glory and honor to your holy name. We adore you because you deserve it. We worship you because you are worthy. Father, may your name alone be praised. Thank you, Lord God, for the salvation of our soul, for the gift of life. Blessed be to your holy name. We return all the glory. We return all the honor. We return all the adoration to your holy name. You are highly lifted up. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you all, children of the Most High God. Like I said before, it is our begin daily with Christ. And this morning, by the grace of God, we are going to be talking about alive by grace. Alive by grace. First of all, let's try to understand the word grace. The word grace simply means choosing for help, choosing for help. What does that mean? That means unmerited favor of God. Unmerited favor of God. Every one of us, we have been choosing by God for help because we do not actually deserve to be called the children of God. But the favor of God located us and now we are called the children of God. If you go to the book of Titus, Titus chapter 3, reading from verse 3, Titus chapter 3, reading from verse 3, the Bible says, For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving divers lust and pleasures, living in malice and heavy, hateful, and hating one another. Verse 4. But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior, toward man appeared. Listen to who we were. We were foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse laws and pleasure, living in malice and envy, hateful, and hating one another. And the verse 4 said, But after that, the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared irrespective of the way we live our lives, irrespective of who we used to be, God in his kindness and love appeared. And verse 5, have I said, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by washing of regeneration and renew of the Holy Ghost. Not of works, not of righteousness, is simply help of God. Grace just found us and we became alive spiritually and physically. So no man should boast because you do not do anything to deserve the grace of God. Again, in the book of Ephesians chapter 2, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to 9, the Bible says, For by grace are ye saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, the grace of God that you and I are enjoying today, is a gift from above, for as many that do have faith, in our Lord Jesus Christ, automatically become the beneficiary of the grace of God. He says in verse 9, not of works, lest any man should boast. No man on earth can boast that I am this, I am that because of I deserve it. No, it a gift of God. It is a gift of Almighty. And he says something, this gift of God 
is according to the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Going to the book of Romans, Romans chapter 5, reading verse, five, verse 1 to 2, the book of Romans chapter 5, verse 1 to 2. Romans chapter 5. The Bible says, Therefore, being justified by faith, it is the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ that justify everyone. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The peace of God, divine peace, we have through our Lord Jesus Christ. If you recall, Jesus said it in John chapter 14 verse 27. He said, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world. Give it. So the peace of God that we are enjoying is through our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 2 says, by whom also we have access by faith into the grace where we, we stand. It is through faith in Christ that we have access to God and we are standing. And rejoice in hope of the glory of God. So, everyone that has faith in our Lord Jesus Christ actually become a beneficiary of the grace of God. And in this, through this faith that we stand, children of God, in Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22 to 23, he says, It's of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed, for his compassion faileth not. God's mercy, it is the one that is working in our lives that we are not consumed, because his pity. His love never fails. The Bible said in First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 34, the Bible said, The Lord is good and his mercy endured forever. We are alive today is by the grace of God. Therefore, no one should frustrate that grace of God. You have to constantly remember all he has done for you. Let's go to the book of Psalm, Psalm 103. I'm going to read verse 1 to 3. Psalm 103, verse 1 to 3. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Verse 2, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefit. Do not forget all the benefit of God. You remember what Titus chapter 3 verse 3 said? We used to be foolish, hateful, but we should not forget all this benefit of God. Verse 3 says, Who forgiveth all iniquities, all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Verse 4, Who redeemed thy life from destruction, who granted thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Verse 5, Who satisfied thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. We should not forget all the benefit of God. The life we are living now is by the grace of God. We are alive not just existing. We are alive because the power of the Holy Spirit is working in us. We are alive because the Spirit of God is living in us. We used to be just existing, but now we are alive by the grace. Therefore, we should worship God in our body, which is, is, is the true sacrifice. We should live our life to please our maker. We should not frustrate the grace of God upon our life, because the grace can be frustrated. In Galatians chapter 2, verse 20 to 21, 
The Bible says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the sons of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. This is actually how we are supposed to live our life now in the flesh. Live for Jesus. And verse 21 says, I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. If righteousness come by the law, by what you do, because I do this, because I do that, then Christ is dead in vain. For righteousness did not come by the law. Righteousness came by the grace of God. And there is a way we should live our life. We are alive now by the grace. And we need to live to glorify His holy name. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, He said, Wherefore, whether you live, whether you eat, or you drink, or whatsoever you do, do it all to the glory of God. You must live your life to glorify God because we are alive by grace, not your, of your own works. Children of the Most High God, I pray for grace, the grace to live for God, the grace to be watchful. He said in, in Colossians chapter 3 verse 2, He said, set your affection on the things above and not on the things on the earth. Let your affection be set on the things above. Live for Jesus. Because we are saved by His grace. May the Lord bless every one of us. May the Lord empower us. May the Lord strengthen us in the name of Jesus. God bless you, children of the Most High God. Have a wonderful day. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Bless every children in Him. You are highly lifted up. Power and glory, honor, adoration belongs to you. Lord, we commit ourselves to your hip ones this morning as we step our go before us. In the name of Jesus, let your mercy, your favor speak for us. In the name of Jesus, silence satanic agenda and give us victory all around. In Jesus' name, we are afraid. Amen. God bless you all. Please go and possess your possession. Be blessed and remain blessed. Bye for now.